mystic butterfly, the harmonious cricket, the awkward Katie did. In recent days, these and other insects around the world have fallen prey to a disease that cannot be explained by modern science. This butterfly has grown naturally into the final stage of its life cycle, but now, infected by chronological reversal, it has begun to move and even age backwards, first into a cocoon, and from there to a caterpillar. This newly regressed creature spends its days regurgitating onto the leaves it had chewed up the first time around, until, finally, it shrinks back into an egg. Now we encounter a friendly grasshopper, eating its fill of bamboo. He too is affected by chronological reversal. He grows smaller by the day, stalking the forest backwards for his old shed husks. Once they are found, he attempts to force himself back inside them, and then continues on his way, trailing pieces of dead exoskeleton behind him. This healthy praying mantis was fed an infected moth. As he feeds, the disease begins to take its hold. Soon enough, the eating process starts to reverse. His mandibles reconfigure the moth's wing, and he places it back onto the body. Strangely, ants are affected very differently by the disease. Some scientists hypothesize that the colony's hive mind interferes with the disease's backwards imperative. This ant does not fully reverse its movements, but instead shudders and starts, apparently drawn by two competing impulses. This honeybee was infected towards the end of its daily routine. It now traces its steps, revisiting the flowers it had previously pollinated. When it returns to its hive, it will perform its dance of identification backwards, prompting its immediate execution. Plants, too, are susceptible to chronological reversal, and the flowers the bee had visited will now close up and draw back into the ground. They will end their lives as mere seedlings. Infected lice return blood to their host. Infected mosquitoes do the same. If you have been bitten by a mosquito recently, be very careful. This may happen to you. Government's pesticide trucks and planes enter your neighborhood. Be sure to close all windows and doors and keep all pets and infants close. With luck, we will soon be free of this backwards epidemic.